Hi guys, my name is Borut Peterlin. Um, I haven't blogged for a while again. Uh, why? Because you know there are so many followers on my blog. I'm uh, I'm kind of nervous, you know, to blog. You know, I I always want to you know make a post that is worthy of I don't know every time that I make a post on my blog like. 800 emails are sent, you know, people are subscribed to my blog, so you know, I feel responsible not to waste your time. And I will definitely not waste your time today. Why? Because, uh, as you know, I was in Rochester, uh, where I learned how to retouch a negative, negatives, and glass negatives, and that's what I'm planning to do today. Uh, here is one, one picture I've done, I really love it. So this is the picture. I really love it. Um, it's very moody, very dark, and um, it's a portrait of my daughter. Of course, she was uh, making a tree house or a hiding place. And she was cutting um, branches in this in this bush. Bush, and I came uh, and I photographed her like that. So what I love is this uh, pattern of a of a rabbit, uh, but it's not. It's too dark. You know the. Um, it was it was sunset already, and this was the sun was setting behind her, so she was facing east. Um, so uh, that's why. So my plan is that I will retouch uh, this um, rabbit, and I will retouch this contours here to be a little bit more come out a little bit more. So as you see, this one, this rabbit, we will come, uh, we will bring it out, and these contours, I will make them a little bit stronger. And maybe also the scissors, I will make them to come stand out a little bit more. And that's it. Uh, whereas with the second negative, I will just make the face a little bit better. So the eyes will be seen a little bit more. And that's about it. You know what that is? You know the song of Rolling Stones, uh, Brown Sugar? That's actually what they were singing about. Uh, it's a gum arabic. Uh, Paul McCartney was a huge fan of um, gum printing and um, so he, they made a song about um, brown sugar or gum arabic. But I'm using it uh, to make a glue. So you know a little bit of gum arabic, uh, glycerin and a little bit of water and you have a glue. And uh, for this purpose I could use whatever uh, glue I wanted. But I want to have um, a glue that is water solvent and organic and archival and so on. So I use uh, gum arabic. And now I'm uh, gluing tracing paper on the back of the plate. So not the collodion side, but the other side, the back. Look at that. This is a magic kit that I got uh, George Eastman house at the workshop of uh, retouching how to retouch negatives. Mark Osterman made this kit and it's a magic box. I'm using uh, just ordinary uh, graphic pen uh, to uh, and I'm now I'm drawing on the back of the plate so on the tracing paper I'm uh, adding density basically I'm adding uh, the parts that I want to be, that want on the, on the final print to become brighter. Oh, I hope that Mark Osterman is not watching this video because, you know, he used to be a mentor also for drawing and my drawing capabilities are like five-year-olds. <laughs> okay, I, now I turn the negative. I'm looking at the collodion side. I take a, uh, like it's a powder made of fish bone uh, and now I'm scratching the varnish or just a little bit of scratching so it gets the tooth. Uh, so with a graphic pen I can add uh, graph graphite on, on, the, on, the top of the, on the top of the varnish. And now I'm uh, adding um, graphite, uh, but I'm doing this with, a, as you see it, with um, small dots, not with, a, with a, like drawing, but with dots.
now uh, I'm retouching the face on the other negative. Um, I'm, again, I'm scratching the, the varnish, so it's a matte, uh, so we can accept the, the pencil. What a masterpiece, huh? <laughs> no, actually, as you see it, I'm just adding the graphite where the... Um, uh, adding the density where the picture was already, I'm just adding a little bit more uh, graphite um, to get uh, the face a little bit brighter. So, the Lodian side is treated, um, the negative is retouched, and now the back side. I want to play, create a layer which will... Um, you know, make another, uh, we'll add a little bit more density on the face. Yes, Mark, um, that's my best. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, let's do some album prints. First of all, uh, this is already salted and beaten um, album uh, in a tray. And first step is to remove all the all the bubbles. Um, these bubbles can really make your life difficult. So you know, it's worth to take a couple of minutes and do that properly. Now I'm floating a pa uh, the paper on it. Um, I'm floating it for uh, two minutes. First, I'm putting it just on this on the surface. And then I'm raising one side, checking if there are some air bubbles um, on the one side and then on the other, uh, because this air bubbles needs to be popped, and you can pop them with a with a hand. After two minutes on floating, floating on uh, album, um, I put them to dry, and then again I I check the air bubbles and I'm popping them. You can do it by hand, with finger or with the glass rod is even better. When album paper dries, uh, which is fairly soon, uh, it's time for sensibilization. Um, now we, again I will float it on a silver, silver nitrate, but the catch is that this solution is uh, 20%, uh, so it's a really really expensive solution. And because it's 20%, it's very very, um, it's very very strong and that will harden um, albumin. And by doing that, more silver will catch on the paper. When paper sensitized, please dry it uh, under on with cold airflow. Never use hair dryer for albumin. You can use uh, hot air, but but uh, when it's sensitized, don't use um, hot air because it will yellow. Exposure time. Uh, this was already evening, so I expose it directly to the to the sun. Usually, I'm exposing it in the shadow. Um, and you know the best is to do it on the Land Rover, of course. Um, I print slowly. Uh, usually, my exposure time is around one hour. I find a shadow that it's like uh, dark enough, so you know my my negative is printed for one hour. With that, I get better contrast, the deeper blacks, better tonality.
uh, washing. As you see, the, the water is a little bit cloudy. That's because the chlorine in tap water reacts with silver nitrate. And you have to wash it as long as you the cloudy water. And that actually is a really long time because albumin print um, has much more silver than salt print, for instance. And now toning with gold. Um, you have to tone it because uh, gold uh, album print is really like earthly kind of brown. Uh, so that's why with toning you get like deeper blacks and proper black and white or let's say brown and white um, to that to tonal scale. Last but not least, uh, fixing with sodium thiosulfate, 15% solution for five minutes. On the end, it's washing for 15 minutes with um, agitation. So this is <coughs> where we started, and this is uh, the result. Okay, as you see it, um, the blacks are almost identical. The, back, the blacks, the exposure is almost the same. If you look, the corner here and the corner there is all, almost the same. But the rabbit is really uh, coming out really nicely and the contours here are really shining. So this is what I wanted. This is what I, I think it's perfect print now. Look at that. Isn't it beautiful? What a lovely pair, isn't it? I'm so happy with those two. If you would look with the loop and you would know what to look for, you will actually see the, the trace of my pencil. This is unretouched negative, and this is retouched negative. Unretouched negative, and with retouched negative. I love that particular shine of uh, album and paper. Woo! I'm so happy. I'm so happy that uh, for those prints. And for my retouching, you see, you see, I bet when you were, I bet that when you, I was drawing here on this tracing paper and uh, doing my graphic pen, uh, you were having some second thoughts if I, if I know what I'm doing. But the result is here and it's, I'm really, really happy with it. I'm really, really happy. I think it's, uh, it's really nice. And I use, and you've seen how many tools I have in the magic box that I got from George Eastman House or from Mark Osterman. Well, from all this I use two. So graphic pen and that white uh, powder that is actually a fish bone. Or, so uh, only two tools, but I have like so much more. So um, I apologize, under 15 minutes I cannot um, show you everything I learned in uh, George Eastman House with Mark Osterman, so, but I strongly advise you to take a workshop, it was, it was three days and we learned various um, techniques and furthermore we saw, and this is actually why it's really important to go to George Eastman House, is that you, you, get, you, you, you can see uh, the examples of, of uh, you know, that you can see only in history books, um, like examples of, of other, you know, masters of photography that were retouching. So, um, so yeah, I learned a, a really a lot. Um, <laughs> the bad thing is, uh, just a few a week ago, I, I got my bill from Mastercard, and I have to pay uh, uh, everything, which I will, which I already did. But uh, but that that only means that uh, although uh, I really love this uh, prints, I will put them on eBay, but not as an auction. I will I will set a fixed price. 
Uh, check the link below. Um, One last thing, um, if I'm, I'm getting more and more requests to make more videos, uh, but they take a lot of time. Let's say this video took me three days. So, uh, but I, I, I love to do it. Uh, that's no question about it. But the thing is that it takes a lot of time. So if you, if you would consider to give me a tip, um, so via PayPal, you know, that would be great. Uh, that will uh, give me uh, more excuse to make these videos happen more often. So my PayPal account is Borut Petrlin together at gmail.com and thank you again you know one two three five dollars whatever it's everything is welcome so thanks a lot and bye